friends, have you ever wondered how to make your own dry shampoo? Well, then today I have exactly the right thing for you. It is so simple and easy, you won't believe it. When you check the ingredients of your favorite dry shampoo, you will notice the main ingredient of any dry shampoo is just a starch, is as simple as that. It could be a rice starch, a corn starch, tapioca or arrowroot starch. So to create your own dry shampoo, all you need is 100 milliliter water and then you add five teaspoons of alcohol or vodka or witch hazel. Plus you add five teaspoons of the starch of your choice. Now, if you have brown or dark hair, then you might want to add some cocoa powder so you don't get white residue. One to two teaspoons cocoa powder will be sufficient. You can also add five drops of your favorite essential oil to make it smell good. And then you just fill this all in a little spray bottle and voila, ready is your dry shampoo. So simple, so easy, fast and so cheap. You can save so much money with this. Now I have to say that I did this for a couple of weeks and then at some point I was thinking why do I actually spray alcohol on my head which most of the dry shampoos you can buy all of them actually that I have seen. Let me know if you know a dry shampoo that is without alcohol but they all contain alcohol and that's actually not a desired ingredient that you should put on your scalp that is actually very harsh and can be drying out your skin and cause all kinds of issues. So I decided, hey, I just put that cornstarch with a brush directly on my head. And what should I tell you? This works like a gem. I cannot believe how simple and easy this little trick is. Saves so much money. Cause I mean, I went through a Batiste dry shampoo easily three to four weeks. I just filled from my big jug of cornstarch some into this little jug and you know I just use this. I have this under my sink in my bathroom. I take some cornstarch, tap it off and really put it on the roots, give it a good shake. It works so good. I cannot even believe it and no more alcohol on my scalp. But if you prefer a spray or maybe if you're traveling it might be more convenient to have the spray. This recipe is so simple and easy. You should try it out. Let me know if you try this recipe and if you like the result. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like to hear more tips and tricks, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. All right, that's it for today. I wish you a lovely day. Stay healthy and safe. Bye-bye.